<laughs> Hello, leave it to the stream. It's the ensemble, the fabulous ensemble, professional actors improvising, brought to you by And Theater Company in New York City. Although we are all over the world, we are international, our group is. Uh, uh, and we are going to improvise for you right now. Before we do, I would uh, like to point out a thing or two, and that is that you can see so you can see members of the ensemble live at uh, the And Theater Benefit. That is this Friday, uh, February the eleventh, two thousand twenty-two. I can't believe I, it's so hard to say those words. Seven p.m. at the Triad Theater, and the link to that is in the comment thingy section below and that is down there and i want to introduce you to this fabulous international cast uh they're all over the united states and one place in canada uh so let me introduce them to you now uh hello amanda hello. and we have taylor up there uh we have joe hello joe <laughs> We've got Carrie. We got Mike. Hi. We got Christine, whose name currently is in Theater Company on the on the on the thing, but we'll fix that. Don't worry. We got Liz down there. Hi, Liz. Hi. And we have Elke. Hello, Elke. <laughs> and uh, hey, you're gonna you're gonna watch them improvise. And if you go, I need to cast one of these people in my amazing thing. Well, you can contact them through uh, the information that I have down there. It's it's just ensemble at gmail .com and say, hey, I'm really interested in these in this person or these people. Please uh, uh, pass them through to us, and we will absolutely do that. Uh, hey. We are going to do something called a rotating lotus, which is a, a movement through four set locations, but we move um, uh, through time as we do it. So four set locations. And let me find those locations. I went to the internet earlier and I got the kind of answers you expect from the internet. No, I actually got excellent answers. I'm totally kidding. I got uh, uh, Sherry Flanders in Chicago uh, wrote the internet. And so I decided to... Uh, uh, interpret that as a Zoom call. Thank you, Sherry. Much appreciated. Uh, from Jamie Maloney right here in um, in New York City. Great guy. Fabulous improviser and a great teacher if you ever see him teaching. He, he, he chose a walk-in closet. Walk-in closet. Right on. Uh, Scott Benjamin, another uh, a, a gentleman from our own theater company, from Ant Theater Company, gave us... Uh, he originally gave me gave us uh, the suggestion of a confessional, and I wasn't too hot on that. And I got that from Sean Chaney, too, who uh, I, have, I have taught with uh, out here in New Jersey. And uh, uh, I asked them, what's something a little non-denominational? And Scott got it to me quicker. And that was the conference room. What did he say? The conference room in a courthouse. Very specific. Conference room in a courthouse is location number three. And finally, location number four comes from an old friend of mine, great uh, improviser and sketch comedian in Toronto, my hometown, David Sparrow, gave us beside a waterfall. I think he said Victoria Fall first, and I'm 98% sure he meant Reichenbach Falls. But David, we're going to, you're going to pick up, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, I shouldn't do this. This is not an improv phone. That's an improv phone, Dave. You and I'll talk. So those are our, those are our four locations. And thank you, Sherry, Jamie, Scott, and David for those locations. We got a Zoom call, walk-in closet, conference room in a courthouse, and a waterfall are our four locations. So uh, if everybody else is ready, are you ready? Do you feel do you feel comfy and ready to go? Yeah. Dynamite. Then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get everybody who is not the following actors to go away. I'll get, I'll get Amanda and Taylor, uh, Taylor can stay and everybody else, if you turn off your camera and mute your microphones, but be ready because we'll be, we'll, we'll have you in those scenes very soon. And uh, we are going to go right now to a Zoom call where Amanda and Taylor are going to introduce us to their characters. Oh, hey, Magda. Yeah. yeah, yeah, still here. Uh-huh. Uh. I didn't leave. I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. 
Okay. All right. Let's hash this out then. I thought if I walked away for 20 minutes, you'd be gone. No, no. See, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave you and, or me hanging. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not wrong. So. Jules. Julie. Juliana. You're wrong. Magda, I know you don't want to hear it, but he's leaving you. <sighs> he packed all his stuff up. I know, I know, you're right. It's right. Just it couldn't accept it because, you know, after all this time, I'm so invested. I'm so invested. Oh my God, I bought a house with this guy. You know, I always said Pierre was a bum. You could do better, sweetheart. I know, you know, you'd think after three weeks of knowing a guy, it wouldn't go this way. All this time. Oh. Jules, I just, I don't, Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't do the whole, you're going to pass out hyperventilating thing because I cannot physically pick you up off the ground. Well, you emotionally pick me up all the time and I'm hoping you can do that now for me. The silver lining is it's only three weeks. Yeah. It, it's, it's a house that's really nice that I can't really afford though. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't. Um, no. Okay, you know I hate people in my house, but for one month, you can stay in my guest room. Oh. One month. No. Wow, that's... That's amazing. That's incredible. That's... It's not a big deal. It's really no, not a big deal. No wonder you're my best friend in the whole world. I, I, I just, I have to figure out how to get to Saskatchewan. Well, uh, it's I, a bit of a drive. It, it is, it is, you know, because I, I'm, I'm Southern California currently. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and, and it's, you know, like 98 degrees here right now. And it's what, eight degrees there? Uh, in your temperatures, it's like 30. Oh, okay. Uh, long pants then, a pair of jeans. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get packing. Um, okay. Don't forget the long underwear. I won't. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. When visiting Canada, don't forget your long underwear, even in August. We take you now to a walk-in closet where the actors Joe and Carrie are going to introduce us to their characters. I don't know. The red looks amazing, but the green brings out your eyes. I'm partial to green. You know, I yeah. have blue green eyes. I have blue green eyes and I just want Joe to really like me. I mean, he likes you. So it's just, it's, it's just a matter of what to wear you know it's a big night the night you get proposed to it only i mean it doesn't i was gonna say it only happens once but it only happens once per relationship yeah that's not really true either is it no no it's happened twice to me before so <laughs> oh oh my gosh mandy this is like, oh my i'm so nervous like what if i'm wrong i mean he could just be wanting to break it off with me you just never know. You think he wants to break it off, but I mean, you guys seem like you're such in love. Honestly, I don't love him. 
oh. I just, I just wanted to get married again. I just, I don't like being by myself. And I, you know, he's nice enough. He's got, he's got a good job. He could support me and my kids. I mean, I could do worse. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he's a catch. I'm Jane, tired of working. A... I'm tired of working. I understand. Uh, I just, this whole time I thought that you and Joe were, you know, star-crossed. I don't Man, I've been, <laughs> man, yeah. I've been basing my relationship goals on you guys, breaking up with anyone who doesn't fit what I consider my relationship goals. Wow, wow, <sighs> I'm honored. I mean, well, I'm that is such honest. a compliment. But it's based on a a farsity. Farsity. I didn't know that was a word. Uh, it might not be Jane, but I'm having a moment. I'm, I'm, I'm reassessing. You know, maybe you should reassess your relationship goals because we have to think practical. You know, we can follow the heart, but the heart can take us to poverty. The part we could be in love with, with somebody who's, an addict or somebody who, who gambles. Now I'm basing it on this guy has a good job. This guy is reliable. He's boring his shit, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean, he provides. It's a good point. It is a good point. Green. Wear the green. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with boring, by the way. Boring is boring is me. And now we take you to a conference room in a courthouse where we're going to meet uh, the characters created by Mike and Christine. This is so fabulous. I've never been this high up. <laughs> yeah, Jules, this is uh, this is the cream. This is what we work for. I know, Ralph. This is this is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you see how everybody looked at us when we walked in and sat at the defense table? I know. Yeah. We yeah. got it made. <laughs> we got it made. Everyone's yep. been reading about us. Everyone wants to be us right now, Jules. I know. <laughs> and, uh, you know. I'm, I'm so glad that you brought me with you. I am so glad. So glad that, that I can be your person. It's. It's like, I'm, I'm not talking assistant. No, that's not a good word, assistant. But I can be your person. Oh, Jules, I've got big plans for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, I'm grooming you. I'm grooming you, Jules, to go to the top. Yeah, you're oh, gonna groom be... away, man. Groom away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jules. So the first thing is we don't agree to anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, can can I just ask? Um, do you think my skirt's too short, or you know, to be like a professional? Oh, I think your skirt is amazing. Good, and and the heels. I wore these heels, these three inch heels, to make me so much stronger. You think they work, don't you? Absolutely. The, it, um, nothing impresses a jury like three inch heels. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So. We don't agree to anything. We don't agree to anything. And then when you're walking, because you're going to be doing part of this. Matter of fact, you're I know, be doing, I know. This is so exciting. You're doing the clothes. And when you're doing the clothes, all you got to remember, Jules, strut. You own, just follow me. You own the place. I can do that. 
Oh, Jules. I can do that. Oh, that swagger. Jules, that swagger. Thank you. You are the best teacher. The best teacher. Oh, mentor, mentor. Not a teacher, not a teacher. Mentor. But Jules, you know, I could have picked anybody, but there was always been something about you, Jules, that, uh, that always caught my eye. Yeah. Promise. Talent. You make me feel special. <laughs> well, Jules, gosh, we're, we've got to remember we're professionals here. Yeah. Professionals. Yeah. So, you ready to go back and say nothing? Say nothing. Nothing. Silence. Let them yes. through. Yes. Ah, meet you there. Okay. If you've been injured in an accident, call Ralph and Jules. And now we take you to a waterfall where the actors Liz and Elke are going to introduce us to their characters. This is hell on my hair. I know. Um, uh, and it's chilly. Yeah, I mean, you sure the, the photographer said this spot? Yeah, he said the, the the left waterfall area, you know, right inside the waterfall. And uh, oh, you said you said he said the left waterfall area right inside. Is it possible that you mixed up the left and maybe it's right area left inside? Oh God, you're right. There was no comma. It was like left area. I mean, I interpreted it as left area comma right. Right inside. Oh man! Oh gosh! You know what? The water is cold. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this is it because I mean, I can see like the other left, right side. I think, and I don't see anybody. We've been here for a half an hour. We're the only people who have been here. There's got to be. There's nobody else here. <laughs> I oh, Miranda, hold on, Miranda, Miranda, oh. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. I think. I think those guys weren't photographers. Jordan, are they playing a trick on us? I don't know if they're playing a trick. I think they were just lying or maybe we're being filmed. I don't know. Maybe it's candid camera and they didn't tell us to keep it suspenseful. I don't know. This is weird. And I'm scared. I hope it's candid camera because that would be nice. And we, we, you know, we'd get to be on TV and stuff. Well, no, well, I didn't mean the TV show. They don't do that anymore. I'm talking about candid camera for them. Like, that, we don't know that they filming us and they're keeping this shit on their hard drives and, and doing what knows, who knows. I don't You could be right because they told us to wear these skimpy suits. It's cool. I know. I know. It's hot. Damn it. It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Just in case anybody didn't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, you know, we're maybe they're just late, right? It's it's been a half an hour, right? They're filming you know us. That? They're filming us. We're probably on the internet right now. They're oh filming God. us. Why are they filming us? Wait, listen, listen. Let's try to think positive. Let, let's, 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 let's steer clear of this. Let's, 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 they laughed. Let's, they didn't let's, say right. Let's, 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 I'm slapping <laughs> you in your face. Slap, slap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Together. You're here. Listen, I was on that track. I got him off that roller coaster. We're going to get back on the, on the, we're going to be calm. All right. Okay. You know, okay. it's, it's, it's a house. Half an hour, they've been late, right, 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 and and, and it's my, it's my watch. Oh no! Oh. oh, we'll never find out. Maybe I've been to the left, right waterfall, and it is the creepiest of all the waterfalls. Thank you. All right, and now we're going back to the Zoom call, but this time it's with uh, Meg. Da, Magda and, uh, and Mandy, played by Taylor and Joe. Okay. 
sister, calm down. I, I, I said I was going to move, and I don't want to move. I looked up. It's cold there. Oh, yeah. No, Saskatchewan is like, like negative six. Right. It's, Fahrenheit. And the, and the, and the, in the winter, basically, I don't want to leave. I can talk about the weather and that's an excuse, but the truth is I don't want to go anywhere. I like my house that I can't afford. I like living in Southern California. I love it here. I don't know how to tell Jules, Julie, Juliana that I don't want to move in with her. Well, I feel like, first of all, you do need to tell Jules, Julie, Juliana that you don't want to move to Saskatchewan. Not that you don't want to live with her in particular. That, yeah, see, the truth is I don't want to live with her. But you don't have to tell her that. But I do. She's going to notice if, if I'm not packing up and moving everything to Canada. Listen, so you can't pay for the house now that you're separating. But somebody gave me some good advice recently. Oh? You might consider... Mm -hmm. Finding a man uh -huh. purely for financial gain. <gasps> I've always wanted to be a trophy wife. Hey, I was thinking sugar baby, but yeah, that's a little more stable. I, I think trophy wife has got longer, it is more of a longevity thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you've got the hair. <gasps> Ooh. So, so this will work. So hair will work. That's great. That's great. So I'll just, I think you so. know, I'll kind of, you know, maybe I'll cut it off and do something. No, no, no. I'm, I'm at like a bun, like your hair is very pretty. Please do not cut it off. Well, how am I going to attract a sugar daddy for a trophy wife? I like in a, like a, you know, like the regal buns. Ooh, you know that's what I mean? pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, God. then like you, you get it up, and then you look like a princess, so like so a queen. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So, ooh, ooh, I could be hot mess. I could be that tragic hot mess you save. <laughs> you can help me oh, change. Hell, you're laughing at me. All right, no, all right. I, I, no, I mean, I'm laughing at the men who will fall for it because it's brilliant. It's like, yeah. Hook, line, sinker. I think it's a good idea. Okay. All and right. if it keeps you in the United States, I'm I'm gonna encourage it. Well, I, I really need to stay in Southern California. Yeah. yeah. And I, I would do. love if you did that. I don't want to lose my sister. I don't want to lose my sister. All right. I'm gonna go and see about not talking to Jules, Julie, my Juliana. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Gloria Steinem would be so proud of us right now. And now we're going back to the walk-in closet, this time with Jane and Ralph, played by Carrie and Mike. Ralph, what a surprise seeing you in my closet. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I saw the coast was clear and I took my first left, then my first right in your walk-in closet, Jane. I sent my kids to the movies. <laughs> and I hope they see two shows. Well, well, you know, this is my third night left as a single woman again. So, you know, I thought, we should have a date. And I, I absolutely am so excited that uh, we get this time together. And a great place to start the date is right here in your, because uh, I'm smelling all of your, your perfumes in here. It's amazing. It is amazing. I have a great selection of, you know, Chanel, you know, all the different perfumes. Oh they just... And you the, know the Chanel you what every trophy wife needs now Ralph I I'm really impressed with you 
And even though we're not going to be dating for a while, I would really like to retain you as my lawyer, as my counsel. Well, I'd love to retain you. And I just have to let you know that I just uh, won a, uh, a significant case. And um, excellent. excellent. Yeah. I'm, and there may I'm be more where that came from. Trending. Yes. Yes, there will be more. There will be more. Um, I have a few things up my sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I think you and I could partner together. I'm looking for a new job. Well, I think you would make a perfect victim. Oh, and with you as my victim? Cha-ching. We're talking six figures. Cha-ching. You know, I hated working at the Target anyway. Oh, you don't belong in a Target. You I don't belong in a Target. Nordstrom's. Saks. Oh, Paris. That's where we're headed, Jane. So, Ralph, um, six figures. We have to be 50-50. Jane, that you, boy, you drive a hard bargain. That, that uh, you know, Jane, I just, I've been hurt. But for you, six figures. Sounds like a plan. That's a plan. That is a plan. And now we're going to the conference room in the courthouse where, um, with the characters Jules, not Jules, Julie, Julietta, but just regular old Jules, played by Christine, and uh, Miranda, played by Liz. Uh, I, I'm honored to, to be here with you today in this room. Good. Good. It's isn't it excellent? Isn't this room the nuts? Isn't it really? It's the it's nuts. Got windows to die for, right? Right. <laughs> I'm so impressed with this room. This is the view. It's unbelievable. Wow, you got some view. I mean, and you're. I came here because you're the best in the biz. I know I am. Thank you. Thank you. I had a great mentor. A great mentor. You know, and 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 I've won every single case that he mentored me with. Wow. It's great. Yeah. You, you seem very mented, you know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and I know we're going to win your case. Thank you. I think, I think leaving you at a waterfall with a bikini and nothing else is tragic. Just tragic. You know, the, the emotional damage is incredible. And I'm still, I'm still not, I don't have the feeling back in, in several of my toes. And, um, and my friend Jordan, she's, she's never been the same. Ah, does Jordan need a, a lawyer? I tried to bring her in, but, you know, she's very stubborn. Well, well, you know what? The next time you see Jordan, you just tell her that we have a plan, right? We are going to get so much money for your toes, so much money for your toes. It's, it's beyond belief, right? <sighs> Thank you. Right. I can't thank you enough. You know, I just can't thank you enough. I just, it was just so traumatic. I mean, before I become a, like a less trusting person ever since, you know, I always it's believed okay. in. It's okay. You, really? you can be an untrusting person. I think that will come across really, really well. Right. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. If you say so, I mean, you're, you're the one you tell me what to do. I, I hear your, you know, reputation. It's impeccable. Okay. okay, right. So we've lost your toes. They're gone. They're gone. So you you need to get some shoes that are kind of stubby in the front, you know, okay. so we can, you know, you get some stubby shoes stubby. Um, and you must wear black, just total black, right? Because I'm mourning my toes. Look, right. I'm, yeah. No, we want you to look so sad. I really, am. Really sad. Okay. See? So really sad, right? black, 
stubby black shoes. stubby shoes yeah 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 I, you know what we're gonna go beyond six fingers we're gonna go into seven figures seven seven figures right yeah it this was trauma it oh, a lot of okay. trauma yeah oh so much trauma so much trauma i'm i'm really impressed i'm so happy you're on board i'm gonna love 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 working for you thank you i can't thank you enough i'm traumatized too and when i'm traumatized i go back to the waterfall and this time we're with jules julie juliana and jordan who was already there uh that's played by uh, amanda and elke oh girl um you know what I'm glad that you came along with me. I brought Miranda and she tripped me like she was tripping about it because, listen, these guys, they're legit photographers. But, you know, they saw her freaking out and they, you know, we were there for hours. But, you know, you know, she lost some toes or. It's, you know, she's it's, always it's a little shit. It's a little shit. She's always complaining. She's talking about a lawsuit. I'm like, you know what? I talked to the guys. I told them, listen, you know, I'm not going to bring Miranda with me. I got another friend because it was it was uh, very specific. I bring a friend with me. So I girl, Jules, I'm wow. glad I can count on you, girl, because, you know, Miranda. She's always been like that. I mean, I'm yeah. in town anyway, so. I got to check on Magda. She's a mess, but I'm just happy to get out of the house and just away from everything. Oh, well, I mean, forget about Magda. How are you doing, girl? I mean, I know it's cold, but while we waiting for them, you know, let me know what's 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 the scoop with you. Oh, I'm all right. You know, nothing ever changes up there, but it's nice to see everyone, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, what about like your love life? You good? Like, <laughs> I don't do love life. Oh, you don't do love life. Oh, nah. I'm so sorry about that. Well, you know, there's two photographers coming. You know, the, one of them is cute. He got a little lazy eye, but, you know, you get you put some glasses on them. You don't know. <laughs> you remember, Charles? Lazy eyes are not a concern of mine. I find them cute. Okay, well, I didn't know if you wanted, you didn't want to go back there. But, you know, hey, you, it's really lazy. If you really, it's, it's like, you know, I don't even think it's real. I don't know. But uh, I'll take yeah, glass so eyes. Okay. Well, you know, well, if if you open to love, ah. you know, they're gonna go be here any minute, huh? What do you no mean? love. All right. No love. Just Calm flirting, down, girl. Just flirting, girl. You know. You know what? I I I, I could feel more on that. You know, because you know, this photographer, I'm I'm into him, but I ain't trying to make it serious because you know I I'm a star. You know, that's why we taking these pictures. You know, by this freezing ass waterfall. It's, it's kind of cold. So really. cold. Yeah, it is. Yes, it? yeah, it's, it's cold. I was oh, gonna mention it. it's it's very cold. But, but girl, like see, but see the thing is, you can't tell the temperature in pictures. You know what I'm saying? If you got it, you got it. You can make you can make it seem like the Amazon, right? If you if you do you're it covered. right, <laughs> you're yeah. Covered goosebumps. It's it's. I don't yeah. think it's the look you're wanting. Well, well, you know, I I can train my body. You know, I'm a, I'm gonna be a star girl, and then you you, you know. We're gonna do this because I, I gotta make it. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you noticed, know but you know, I've been lying about my birthday. You know, it would be an honest. You know, I'm I'm not 36. <laughs> you add 20 to that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So you know, I I, I, I knew all along. What? I saw your driver's license like 10 years ago. I'm sorry. And you just let me just uh, every birthday, just happy birthday, 36. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's oh. your birthday. I give it to you. That's a good, you a good friend. It's cold. It's still, still cold as shit. Thank you. And if anybody uh, actually has uh, an unusual eye uh, condition that has been mentioned in that scene, put the real scientific name in the comments and we'll send you a personal apology. <laughs> <laughs> One last time, we're going to the Zoom call, and that's with Mandy and uh, Jordan. Uh, Mandy played by Joe, and Jordan played by Elkie. Here we are back on a Zoom call. Whew. Girl, I had a weekend. What about you? <laughs> oh, I had an interesting weekend, yes. Talk to my sisters. They're both... 
losing their minds in different ways. You saw, you saw Miranda. <sighs> Shoot, sure, yeah. After she lost them toes, she went crazy. Like I, I you know, she yeah. was. We we don't hang out as much as we do anymore. But yeah. yeah. I called her when she was in the hospital and she was talking in circles. It was terrifying. And she, she liked to put on a show, you know, to get that sympathy. You know, oh, I lost, yeah. you know, I got one toe left. Oh no. How am I going to walk? Come on, you know, get over yourself. Drama. Other people got other problems, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and so anyways, yeah. I had, I, I, uh, I had a photo shoot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you I got to get. Oh, okay. Why are you? Why you just said it like that? Like, did you know too? Did you know too that I'm not 36? No, I thought it was no because you, 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 no, you for you. Ain't nobody asked you how old I was, and you just put out 36 out of nowhere. Like you knew. Give it up. Give it up. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I knew. I'm so sorry. I'm I know so you sorry. did. I know you did. Hide uh, it better. Hide it better, girl. There you go. I'm You're 36. Sorry. So Julia Juliana told me. <laughs> I've just been. Oh, she did. Okay. She. Oh, she told. Okay. That it was widely known. But you know, it's all right. It's fine. Because, you know, I did the, I did the photo shoot. We, she was actually uh, with me at the photo shoot where yeah. I disclosed that information. She said she already knew. But, you know, it was good. We got some good shots in, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, I personally think that if if somebody sees these pictures, these pictures are awesome. If somebody sees these pictures, they're going to be like, we need to put her in something. We need to put we have to put her in something like, yeah, it was by a waterfall. It was freezing. Oh, yeah. but you couldn't you couldn't tell. You, you couldn't can't tell. Even tell. Yeah. You couldn't tell it was freezing. <laughs> yeah. That's the sign of a good model. Yeah, exactly. It's so, all the places, you know, Jordan. Yeah, well, so about, I mean, hey, I can't be the only one, girl. What what, what about you? What with you in, in your career? I'm actually starting a new career of setting mm-hmm. up sugar babies and sugar daddies. Rich men with trophy wives. You know, I could I could I could go for I could go for a service like that. You want me to set uh, you up? I've already set up Magda. I, uh, I'm working on um, Miranda, but the toe situation is going to make that a little difficult. Oh, wait. So, wait, uh, hold up. I'm sorry. Shut up wait, about it. I'm sorry. Hold up. Hold up. Missing, missing appendages are, is that a, a, a thing or is this her complaining about them? Oh, it's her complaining, but <gasps> nobody cares really? if you're missing toes as long as you don't whine about it. <laughs> what about fingers? <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We it's gonna be oh, okay. girl, get hook me up. I will, and we'll put her contact information in the in the comments if you want to get hooked up. Uh, and uh, now we're taking you back one last time to the walk-in closet with Magda, played by Taylor, and Ralph, played by Mike. Look at you, Magda, looking like a million bucks. Thank you, Ralph. Um, I know it's weird, but I'm really glad you met me in my sister's closet. And, and, I, and I have to wonder why, I mean, and I mean this in the nicest way, but you're dating my sister, so I'm, a little weirded out that we're in her closet about to try on clothes. I was wondering that too. But I said to myself, Ralph, why ask why? That's what I offer to you, Magda. Why ask why? That's brilliant, Ralph. I, That's just the smartest thing I think I've ever heard a man say. Magda, my law wow. professor, he said to me, Ralph, you have one of the keenest minds I've ever seen in my life. He so was I'm, right. Uh, that makes me, uh, <laughs> making me uh, getting all hot here. Oh. <laughs> and uh, 
gotta tell me, I'm, I'm really vulnerable right now. I'm, I'm, uh, Stop saying my sister. It's more of a demand than it is a question, really. Stop seeing her. But I have a question about it because maybe you like her more. Uh, you said that you didn't do that wasn't that wasn't uh, that was a command to me. Your oh, your nice. your sound, your syllables resonated. <gasps> it's hard to breathe right now. <sighs> me too. <laughs> I'm Oh, a little okay. flushed. Got it. Me too. I'm a little warm right now, Ralph. Me too. I'm I'm real warm. Mm. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this closet that's gonna look good on me. Oh. Oh, I hear that there's a uh, this beautiful uh, this beautiful uh, wool. Uh, uh, Okay, that was too subtle. I'm so sorry. Let me try that again. I'm still working on this whole trophy wife thing. So uh, let me try it again real quick. Okay. Oh, Ralph, I don't think I'll look good in anything in here. Oh. Was that better? Magna, you, uh, I'm, I'm spinning right in my shoes right now. Oh, I'm good. Spinning. I'm I can... spinning. Thank you. You're, uh, you're, you're beyond power. You are, I'm melting. I'm melting, right? Right now. Oh, 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 that, that's not in the manual. Oh, oh, good God almighty. Okay. Okay. Oh. I got to go. Don't worry about it, buddy. It happens to the best of us. Uh, now uh, we're going to the conference room in the courthouse with uh, Miranda and Jane. Miranda played by Liz and Jane played by Carrie. I'm missing toes. I'm missing a lot of toes. I'm so sorry. Thank you. You know, a lot of people aren't really sympathetic about it, but I appreciate your sympathy a lot. Well, I, I think you'll enjoy working with me. I, I, you well, know, um, you know uh, they said you're replacing Ralph because he was disbarred. Yes, he did a lot of bad things. Ralph did, and... And Jules, you know, she's just not, she's not top notch. You know, I thought she was good, but my, my case got, got thrown out, but thanks for bringing it back in. Oh, sorry. I just, sometimes I just, I, I have to readjust my feet. I know, I, I know, I know. Listen, I feel your pain, you know, I mean. You're so sympathetic. You, you, I, you I've lost, you know, sometimes my, my gel nails come off. And so I, I understand. That's terrible. I know. That's terrible. And you're such a lovely woman. That must, Thank must you. interfere with your social life. Yes. Especially like I get the long ones. And then if one is like, you know, down to my, my nail bed, it's just completely embarrassing. So I feel your pain, Miranda, yeah. and I'm willing to help you. I think we can get six figures. I really do. Jules was working for seven. We could try seven, but, you know, fine. We'll try seven. In fact, let's try. Yes, we'll try seven. You know, my toes, really, it's a big loss. You know, I, I mean, eight doesn't seem out of, out of the question, does it, for toes? Why don't we do ten? Uh, you for each show. Fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making fun. Of you. I'm laughing with you, not at you. Ten seems right. It seems really <laughs> applicable. It seems applicable. It seems applicable. You're a lovely woman. You really, really are. And you, you know, without people, the nails, people right. don't think that. They think I'm a. They think I'm a gold digger. You know, I mean. You? That yeah, so hard for for the disadvantaged like me. Yes, just because I try to, you know, I know I don't look like it, but I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. 
you yeah, in Cincinnati, gosh. Ohio, the wrong side of the tracks and the would wrong not, side of the lake would not have guessed that you look like a right side girl. Thank you. I worked my clawed my way up the target, the target management team. That's amazing. Target yes. is, target's really impressive. Thank you. Target's, target's and then nothing. Ralph recruited me and then Ralph did some really bad things and tried to take me down with him. But well, I, I fought my way up. I mean, so I, I understand your pain and I'm willing to fight for you. Thank you. And you're on top now. I'm with you all the way. Thank you. We're both going to be on top when we get that money. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, hi there, Christine. Yes, we will have you there in just a second. The last scene in our play does in fact take place in the waterfall. And, and to quote speak our name Desire, we've had this date coming since the very beginning. We're going to have Jules Julie Juliana played by Amanda and just plain old Jules played by the person you just saw, Christine Niven. So uh, Jules and Jules Julie Juliana. <coughs> Oh, JJ. <laughs> Jules, Julie, Juliana. <laughs> Good to see your didn't face. Didn't expect to see you here, ma'am. I know. I, I, I didn't know. expect to see you here. I know I'm not supposed to be in town, but Magda needs me. I had to come. But that's not to say I'm not happy to see you. Yeah. Because I am, you know. We, we have a strong connection, even though we don't see each other that much. With the Jays. Yeah. The Flying Jays. The, ha. We could, we could make a song. Ha. We could make a song about Jules, yeah. right? Us. We you should. And me. We should. Yeah. 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 Um, Jules, Julie, Juliana. I'm a Jules, too. Yeah. 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 I love it. Your turn. You love it? Jules, yeah. Julie, Juliana. We are Jules, but not you. Yes. What a great song. We can record it. Yeah. Record it. And 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 I um ooh, I can't really draw up a contract anymore because I sort of like been disbarred. So um we'll have uh, to find somebody to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave the song on the back burner. What? What what? You been disbarred oh yeah yeah see my my mentor was doing some stuff on the side that kind of dripped over on me because I thought he was telling me the right things to do but mm, some of it wasn't really so yeah so I got disbarred ah, Jules I'm sorry yeah but, but I had fun while I was doing it I'm real fun we won cases even though they were thrown out afterwards I know I used to get the clipping sent to me all the time every time you won yeah yeah, but I, I didn't send you the ones when the cases got thrown out and back again and stuff. So, because that's embarrassing. No, no, it's, it's not. You tried your best. You did a good job. I did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did. And now I can enjoy meeting you at a waterfall. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's a lot warmer out here today than it was the other day. I'll tell you that much. That's what I heard. I heard it was really cold, but this is kind of like, it must be at least 40 Fahrenheit. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's, it's damn near tropical for me. Yeah. 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 You, you, you must have your long underwear dress under your skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am wearing long underwear. <sighs> yeah. No, I, I just, I don't want you to be sad about this. I, I'm proud of you. Thank you. You're the best friend a Jules could ever have. You're the best friend this Jules could ever have. And contact us if you'd like to have your long underwear surgically implanted, uh, especially if you're from up in Canada, 
where Amanda and I are from. Everybody, come on back and take a bite. Yay! Well done. Hey, I would like to thank everybody for playing. I want, but first, I'd like to thank the people who gave us their suggestions. Sherry Flanders, Jamie Maloney, Scott Benjamin, and David Sparrow. I'd like to remind you that you can see members. I think I think some of the people that are here tonight, you can see them live, actually, in a, as human beings in a place at the And Theater Benefit, February the 11th at 7 p.m. at the Triad Theater. The link is down below. And uh, if you want to cast any of these fabulous actors, you just, the, the, the uh, email to contact us is ensemble at gmail.com. That's also in there below. But uh, I would like to thank them very much. I want to thank you. Thank you, Mike. Hey, the only, the only guy, you're the sugar daddy. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you for playing. And thank you, Amanda. Up in Canada, she's the other Canadian. Thank you, Liz. Uh, thank you, Elke. Yay. Uh, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Christine. And last but not least, thank you, Carrie. And more than anything, thank you for watching improv because without you, we'd just be people in our parents' basement. I'm your host, Scotty Watson. Uh, thank you and good night.